out of mass. <laughs> I like when you're this definitive. Randall throws it down. From downtown, James ahead to Westbrook. Westbrook down lane, blocked by Randall. Julius hands, now Mobley has it. Mobley pass inside, Allen blocked by Randall. Oh, what a block from Julius Randall. Wins right up into him. Fakes, drives, Randall to the basket. All of the players from the 50th anniversary team, all 50 made this squad is Randall. See the big defense when you talk about how porous it has been. Randall throws. Well, there's seventh and fewest turnovers per game. Good double by Rubio, but then he oh. Randall spins, gets inside, Lamb is up, it's good. And a posting up Stevens. Shot is good, and a foul. Back up top to Barrett. Extra pass, Randall fakes, drives, goes inside. Lamb. All three matches. It's Randall in the two. Oh, what a play! Julie. I just shot my shot at this little dot. I'm trying to create that neck on her big neck. My nigga selling crazy. What's up, YouTube? It's Jordan. I'm back in the video. Big body. Barry 20. Play video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 6K now saying today I am the Bill Dilla on your local corner, and I'll come at y'all with this Julius Randall video yes sir this was requested so here it is today i had a good time with this build as always you know what i'm saying this is long overdue julius randall has been having a great season he's really looking like that 2020 to 2021 julius randall when he made his first all-star you know he, obviously he was in a three-point contest and that didn't go so well for him he had like seven but what what did you expect if you are a knicks fan you know that Julius Randle is one of the most confusing players ever because he will chuck up a three-pointer over three defenders and make it like it doesn't make sense but it works so I mean yeah and hopefully it works this year in the playoffs but we'll see because I remember in his all-star season before it didn't work in the playoffs but we will see but yeah let me know what build y'all want down below as always and without further ado Let's get right into the attributes that I use for this Julius Randall 2K23 build video. All right, so as you see, is a power four left-handed number 30. I made him six foot eight, 250 pounds with a seven foot wingspan and a solid body shape. This is all accurate and true to um, Julius Randall from the height to the weight to the wingspan. Mans is a short power four. You know, he's six foot eight, but he makes it work with his size. As you see, he is 250 pounds, so that's more than enough to move things. You know what I mean? Pause. Pause. But with the attribute spray, you're going to see that it's very balanced. So what I'm going to do is put his close shot up to an 85, going to put his driving lane up to a 90. Then for his driving dunk, I'm going to put up to 84 just so that he has pro uh, driving contact dunks. And then I'm going to put his standing dunk up to an 85, which will also give him pro. Well, never mind. It won't give him pro big man just because he's not tall enough. But still, the standing dunk at an 85 is good because, you know, he's a power forward. But he's not going to get big man contact dunks because he's not tall enough. For his post control, you want an 87 post control. For his shooting, you want an 81 mid-range shot, an 83 point shot, and you want to put his free throw rating up to a 79. As I said, Julius Randle is not the greatest shooter, but he can shoot. You know, he's only shooting, what, 34% from three this season, which isn't bad, but it's like, you know, average for a good shooter. You know what I mean? For playmaking, you want 75 pass accuracy, 80 ball handling, and a 70 speed with ball. So yes, the 6'8 build will be able to dribble and drive and all that. For your defense, you want an 80 in tier defense. You want a 75 perimeter defense. You want to leave your steal and block untouched. You want to put your defense rebound up to an 85 and then put your offensive rebound up to a 60. Now for your physicals, you want a 73 speed rating. You want to max out your acceleration at 72. You want an 86 strength to get gold brick wall. You want your vertical to be a 70 and then you want your stamina to be a 95. And that is pretty much the build. So let me know what you think down below about the build, what y'all like about it, what y'all hate about it, what y'all think I should change, you know, all that and above. I feel it's a pretty accurate and balanced build. You have defense, you have offense, you have playmaking. You literally have everything needed, you know, and that really does define Julius Randle. He's a very balanced 
player that can do everything. Now for his takeover, you want finishing moves and negative impact, but you have access to slashing, shot creating, and sharp shooting and post scoring takeover. I pick negative impact because as I said, Julius Randle just be shooting over people like he Carmelo Anthony or something, but still it goes in. I don't know how, but it goes in. You know, his jump shot is really quick too for a power four and you've seen the shades of, I get Julius Randle as well as Pascal Siakam and Larry Johnson, two Knicks players too as well. So you see right here, Julius Randle, three level score it is accurate he is literally the first option i did my thug dizzle like comment subscribe if you knew and let me know what you think about the build now with the badge see it's a very balanced badge spread you have literally tier three badges in every category except for defense which is why it is okay to add maybe i would say what two um yeah two badges to your defensive and rebounding you know that you get for your plus four for playing my career and that will allow you to get a silver rebound chaser and then the other two you can honestly put them toward finishing or shooting honestly it doesn't matter i would personally put it toward finishing because i feel like you know that's the, what this build is better at you know finishing and not shooting even though it can shoot and you have enough badges to do damage with shooting so i would just put it to our finishing now in terms of how it played it really did play like a post score that could also shoot like that could also play make like i was isoing i was shooting pull up jumpers i was driving past the big man because they can't keep up with me because i'm too fast for them of course so if you have a a bigger dude on you it's a mismatch automatically they're not going to expect for you to be able to iso and all that and then on top of that have lockdown defense so you know it is a very good build to uh translate to park and rec now let's talk about julius Randle. as i said if you are a knicks fan man's is one of the most confusing players ever because like i said he will shoot literally over three people, two people, you know, shoot like a mid range pull up or fade away and it will go in sometimes. But other times he'll shoot like seven for 22 and then you have like he'll have you questioning life. That was all last year. I remember and I'm not a Knicks fan, but I remember especially in the playoffs last year. Julius Randle was selling or was it last year in the playoffs? I don't know. It was one of the years in the playoffs. He was selling like crazy because he kept shooting dumb shots like it was in the play-in, I believe. Either the play-in or the playoffs. He was selling. But hopefully this year, it's a different story because it looks like a different story. He's been shooting a lot better, been a lot more consistent, and he's been on a run. So we'll see. But that's pretty much the end of the video, y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and roll to 6K. You know I'm saying? Comment down below any builds y'all want, and I'll eventually get to them. But until then, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Peace.